The conditions might be against them, but these demonstrators still believe Brexit can be stopped. And they don't think Friday's agreement changed anything. It was the beginning, but I don't think it's enough. But not good enough? Not good enough. You'd rather... What would happen? Cancel Brexit, stop Brexit. It's a step in the right direction. We're less likely to fall off the cliff edge if we move ahead under that agreement. But uh, the best deal is staying in. It's still staying in. It always has been. That's not what she thinks. Theresa May told MPs today Friday's agreement had been an important milestone. We are going to leave, but we're going to do so in a smooth and orderly way, securing a new, deep and special partnership with our friends while taking back control of our borders, money and laws once again. That's my mission, this is this government's mission, and on Friday we took a big step towards achieving it. She has the backing of her government for now, but when it comes to the next step, there are different views. Inside the Cabinet, those seeking a clean break Brexit, signing up to as few EU rules as possible, include Boris Johnson at the Foreign Office, Environment Secretary Michael Gove and Defence Secretary Gavin Williamson. On the other side, ministers like the Chancellor Philip Hammond, Home Secretary Amber Rudd and First Secretary of State Damien Green want to keep the UK as closely aligned to the EU as possible to cause minimum business disruption. Theresa May has to broker a way through between them. A point picked up by the opposition. We respect the result of the referendum, but due to, but due to this government's shambolic negotiations, it's getting increasingly difficult to believe this is a government that is indeed even capable of negotiating a good deal for Britain. But at least for now, her enemies are opposite, not behind her.